sweetie, we're home. Please don't wake up, please don't wake up, please don't wake up, please. Oh, no, 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 shh. Barry, Barry, Mommy can't drive you around every time you need to take a nap. Waste gasoline, which isn't good for the environment. It's also driving me crazy. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm back, okay? But we really do need to find another way to get you to sleep. And in just a few blocks, we'll pass by Heather Locklear's house. And no, it's not on Melrose Place. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Hello again, Randy. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Julie, and I just want to say you are going to love this tour. I've been on it three times a day, four days in a row, and this little guy here, he's going to be asleep before we get to Heather Locklear's house. Which isn't on Melrose Place. <laughs> And thanks for ruining my best joke. Oh, come on, Randy. It wasn't that good of a joke. I can't believe you figured it out. I'm addicted to internet gambling. Uh, what? Of course you know I had a gambling problem. I tried to hide it, but you're a smart woman. You saw the signs. Yes, I did. Remind me what they were. You want some? Thank you. I'm not doing anything that would make me nervous or make my mouth dry. OK. Are we almost there? I wouldn't know. Uh, I'm watching the birth of a live panda on the internet. It's my business what I do! Okay. I'm gonna go do a crossword puzzle. How is that a sign? I only do the jumble. Gosh, when did you become addicted to gambling? Well, a few weeks ago when I was checking my kitten joke of the day, a pop-up appeared. That took me to a chocolate cake recipe, which took me to a hardcore gambling site. Now I'm hooked. Sometimes I even do it when baby Perry's on my lap. <gasps> Promise you won't tell. Promise! Okay, uh, I promise. Dinner's cooking. What do you say we play a game while we're waiting? Oh, why don't we talk? Yeah, no, let's play poker. Oh, no, not poker. I like checkers. Poker it is. The game is no limit holding. Okay, people, here are the house rules. I'll allow a straddle, no revise. I've got the button, blinds are two and four celery sticks. What, what, what are the carrot sticks for? Vitamin A, silly. I forgot to ask, how is surfing, honey? Uh, great, really wavy. I'm all in. You're bluffing. I know, because you've got to tell whenever you're fibbing, you pull your earlobe. Call. I'm out. Beat that hot stuff. I will. <laughs> Wait a second. If you weren't lying about the cards, then you must have been lying about something else. That's crazy. What would I lie about? I, I, I don't know. Maybe you were lying about how wavy the surfing was. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm not lying. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, my gosh, you're having an affair. That's why you've been acting so weird lately. No, 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 no. Uh, my, my ear itches. That's all. Oh, that's a lie, too. I know how generously you moisturize. Uh, hold on. This is ridiculous. Eric's not having an affair. He just got laid off. You just got laid off? Why would you do that? You promised not to say anything. You needed to say something. Julie's a gambling addict. <gasps> do you have a gambling problem? Lauren, you promised. Oh, my God. Mom. Dad, what are you doing here? Oh, boy, hey, I can't, uh, <laughs> neighbors stop by and say, hello. <laughs> this is so funny, you're stopping by my place. This isn't going to become a habit, is it? Kidding. <laughs> anyway, be right back. I'm going to talk to the contractor about knocking down the fence between our yards. We'll buy it. We'll give you 5,000 more than she's offering. 30, we'll go 30. <laughs> you were trying to outbid Sarah, me? Sarah, we want what's best for you. That is such a lie. Just say you don't want me living next door. Sarah, that's... Just, just say it! We don't want you living next door. Wrong! You do want me living next door. You need me living next door. This guy may not want me there, but you desperately want me there. This guy has a name. Sarah, what are you talking about? Oh, please, Mom. You love the fact that I'm so dependent. I keep one tiny piece of information from you, and you completely fall apart. You stake out my place. You try to out me in front of my realtor. You love dealing with me. I am your job. I'm your hobby. And my moving in next door to you is the best thing that could have ever happened to you because you are going to get me 24-7. Doors open, trees down, and that's exactly what you want. And if this guy doesn't like it, he can just float in his half of the pool. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. Calm down. Sarah, what is wrong? Todd 
Mike got into a fight with a woman who double parked and used the A word, and then on the street, Todd raced up next to her and gave her the finger, then he tried to make me give her the finger, but I didn't, I just gave her the pointer. But that doesn't even matter, because after that, she followed us all the way here from the city. I can't believe she followed you here. Oh my gosh, she's coming to the door! I wanted to give you this book. Towards a partial recontext recontextualization of the pre-adolescent psyche. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a real page turner. It's it's post-Marxist. It's post-Marx for what? Actually, it's practically neo-post-Marxist if you ask me. <laughs> uh, I really need to get back in there and you know. Lead the boys in a freewheeling, non-judgmental discussion about the deeper issues that made them act out in the way that they did. Yeah, right. <laughs> Exactly that. Daddy, I just had a great idea. Uh -huh. What if we have a who can be the most well-behaved student contest and the winner gets a bag of carob chips uh -huh. or some other sweet but healthy treat? Uh -huh. now, now that is, is a good idea, honey. Uh-huh, yeah.